People often ask me for examples. What multimedia writing do you do in the classroom? What does it look like? And truth is, it runs the gamut. As an introductory approach, I often suggest using dynamic media and network platforms in traditional ways, much like my suggestion in episode one, where I encouraged embedding videos in traditional text. While the videos may act like illustrations here, they nonetheless expose students to basic multimedia practices, video editing, text-to-video integration, working in dynamic authoring platforms, and even these simple shifts require much in the way of reconceptualization from the pedagogical perspective. But they really only begin to scratch the surface. Typically, I suggest that people look at current and back issues of The Jump, the Journal for Undergraduate Multimedia Projects, to get a sense of the kinds of projects that are being produced in classes right now. And those projects tend to more fully embrace the affordances and expressive potentials of screen media platforms. But whether having students compose web text, or building interactive images, or produce mashups, audio or video, or whether even having them work in, in video practices ranging from basic video production to machinima projects, what remains my most central response to people when they ask me this question is to ask them about what kinds of multimedia writing they're comfortable with and, and comfortable with trying to help their students produce. Multimedia writing is so diverse and looks so different across uh, the board that what matters is not explicitly what multimedia work we have students do, but rather that we have them doing multimedia writing. For exposing them to other ordering logics and other expressive aesthetics seems important, if not vital, for how we think about rhetoric developing in the 21st century, particularly as it relates to changes in our thinking and reasoning practices in relation to screen-mediated culture.